Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of Rob's Engine Repairs. Now, in this episode, uh, I want to start off just doing a little few shout outs. I've not done, I've had quite a few, but I've not, uh, I've not done them, so let's crack on. So, first one, we've got uh, a gift, which is off my Amazon wish list. Uh, which is a pair of carb cleaners, pipes, you know, for the jets and everything. They'll come in handy, they will. So we'll put them in top drawer, put them bad boys away. And they're off Paul Freeman. So if you're watching Paul, thank you, buddy. So we'll put that up there. And, uh, hello, Frankie Bob. Watch the camera. And also, I've heard my dad... Um, doing a video. Right. So, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> there you go, go get and thing. also, make sure you go to Frankie's Claims to Game. Go That's on. me. Love you. Love you too. Go on, make sure you go. Bye. Right, so what we'll carry on now, what we've got here is we've got a few stickers. Uh, we have got Steve Small Engine Saloon. So thank you very much, Steve. And he's obviously sent us a few different stickers. Uh, obviously his main sticker. And then we've got a good uh, a good chap, a lovely gentleman. Uh, and what he don't know is not worth knowing, really, because he's, he's, he's a very, very knowledgeable man. And we all know and love him as Ken Small Engines. Thank you very much, Ken. Much appreciated, my mate. Right, so what I'll do, folks, I'll uh, I'll come back to you. I'll stick the stickers on the wall. And then we'll start filming and I'll show you what we've got today. So, hold on. Hey, folks, welcome back. So... I will show you what I've got, what we're on with today. Uh, I just want to say as well, obviously them channel stickers, what I've shown you. Head over to the channel. Some fantastic content on there. Uh, I'm sure you all know, whoever you can subscribe to me, who them gentlemen are. But just in case, I will put the channel links in the description. Right. So... Today we've got this little beauty. It is a spin you around there. Do -do -do -do. A home light chainsaw, which the model number is HCS three 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 five A. Now, as you can see. It's not in the best of conditions, really. But, I've seen worse. Now, it's only got a little blade 16 inch on it. 14 inch, sorry. So, plenty of uh, compression. Now, it's coming, this gentleman, with a chainsaw, an edge cutter, a strimmer, and a lawnmower for me to service. So, I thought I'd take you guys along with the... Uh, along the journey and we'll go from there so right what i'm going to do to make this process a bit easier i'm going to take this chain and bar off because it's pointless having it on when we're uh, hitting and bitting it's going to be all over the place yeah basically we don't want it. so Da -da 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 -da. Hope everyone's all right. So we'll pop that there. I have got a magnet tray somewhere. There we go. So yeah, that tray. Though. Pop the tray on there, and we'll take the chain off. Got screws as well. I don't think that's a positive out of that. Throw a bit of 
for over the cleaner down there. But that dissolved it. Use the old pick. Nope. It's just not been off. In a long, long while. As you can tell, all the dirt and grime in there. So that I want cleaning before we put that back on. I mean, the chain I've seen better days could do with a new chain on it, but he just wants it up and running for the yard. So, right, so that's made it a bit more accessible it's a bit better there. There we go. Yeah. so that's made it a bit more accessible so what we're going to do first things first let's check the fuel oosh Now this machine's running at 50 to 1. So seal looks good. The valve looks good in the top. Looks very good actually. It looks a bit dirty but it's not too bad. Right, let's have a look what we're saying. Now that looks okay to me that. But give it a clean out. So we'll Pour that in. Now that looks that looks lovely and fresh to me. That and it has got decent two-stroke oil on it as well. The pipes. We'll look at the fuel pipes. Yep. Fuel pipes. They all. Are flexible nicely done and that does look okay that fuel I have to say so what I'll do I'll pour that back in that fuel minus the bottom bit That's that. Put the cap back on. Right. That's nice and tight. Let's check. Well, it don't matter anyway, so I've not got the bar on. Right, let's check. I just want to see if it primes. Let's have a look. Moving something. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. But someone's had a play with that and put the fat and put the uh, sorry about that noise folks. And has put the fuel lines on the wrong way on the carb. That's my guess. Because if you listen. see if I can uh, I will show you this it's blowing bubbles in the tank see if I can show you see if you can hear that folks see that So, there we go folks, welcome back. So what I've done, I've, I've uh, 
just blowed a bit of that scrap off there what you know we're on both sides so uh, not too well I just don't want crap falling in the engine etc you know what I mean And it's just it's just not been looked after, has it? So right. So what we got there? Still a bit of crap in these bolts, which I will get out. There we go. I'll give them a clean before I put them back on. Right, so looking at it, filter. Nice and durable. Bit of few rips in it, but what I'll do, I'll pop a bit of oil in that. I am going to clean it, but I just want to replenish it a bit. So just just a few drops. And it is a mixture of two-stroke oil and oil actually, so it won't look. Do it in the arm. Oh. So what we'll do can we get to the few lines and swap them over? No. So we're gonna have to set the B uh, air filter housing off, which is a bolt here. Screw should I say? Which is not a T25. Is a T20. Well, that's one side and then you've got another one the side of the on and off switch now I'm just looking at this tank think it's had a repair I'm just looking at this which I will show you in a second let's get that big
Now be careful when you pull it out because you have got a little washer. <clears throat> Same again on this side, but I should be able to get that washer out with it anyway. So then your airbox housing will lift off and then it'll give us access to the carb. So take your, your gasket off, just remember which way it goes and then you've got your, your throttle linkage as well which you can either take off or leave it on. All right, And then you've got your choke linkage should I say sorry about that and then you've got your throttle linkage on the other side which nine times out of ten you'll be able to get that off no problem but yeah like 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 I suspected I think it's uh, I'll show you in a second folks when I get this off There we go. So there's the carb, which that's just fell off in the hand. So that could have been the problem. But all the top of the tank has been fixed. Looks like. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's just dirt. Thought it were epoxy, but it's just dirt, folks. So it could be that pipe will just split because if you look, it's just cracking on when I'm folding it. You can see the cuts in it. So I reckon we change the, the fuel pipes. The fuel pipe, the return, but I don't know why he's not. The primer, the priming side of it, that's been changed. So, what I'm going to do is. Bit of fuel pipe, let's marry that up. What we got there? -da 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 -da. That'll be ideal, that. Oh, let's just snip some of that off. Right. Let's, let's see if it, uh, it draws fuel into primer bulb when we change that. Because I know the you know the gentleman did say it were running, but you know. So what we're gonna do, we'll need these because I've got such delicate fingers. So I've uh, taken the uh, carburetor out. I just want to check. I know what uh, the diet, the outcome's going to be anyway. I have got some diaphragms in stock, but I don't know whether I've got enough or the right one even for this. Which it's just a Ryobi carb. 
So fingers crossed, it's just a blockage. But we shall have a look. Now that is that carb is bone dry. I don't think we're gonna save this. But I shall try. See how it's just crispy. Right, what I'll do, uh, I might I'll tell you what I'll do actually, I'll pop that top off and see what, what it's saying there. Obviously I don't want the the video to go on yeah that just confirms my uh it's the diaphragm so what we'll do i'm gonna soak just let me check that i've not got any spare for that uh, size there Hmm. Do you know? Before what I'm gonna do, I'm still gonna do a two part. But I'm gonna I think I can revive that in my uh, solution so what I'll do I'll leave it for 12 hours and because it's not bad bad I've seen worse I'm gonna leave it in my solution uh, for a, at least 12 hours till, well maybe more maybe till tomorrow afternoon so that'll be 24 so what I'll do I'll uh, I'll leave it in there let it soak Failing that, I think I can get away with one of them. But I'm a big believer of using the old stuff because, you know, there's no holes in it, there's no tears in it, and I can bring that back to life. So, yeah. So, till the next one, stay safe. God bless you all. Thanks for watching Rob's Small Engine Repairs. If you enjoyed the content, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos.